there's so much about this show that just kind of reminded me what I ever liked about being an actor. And um, it just felt so kind of fresh and um, it, it is sort of high concept, but also if you're a musical theater lover, pe you know, people just burst into song and that's fine. And, um, and Jane is a dear friend. That was kind of really the like, sealed the deal of, you know, what I thought would be fun. Also, I haven't played a boss in so long. I've just been like people with plaid shirts and, you know, <laughs> and, and like kind of fun mom. And so it was just a chance to do something different. It's just so much fun to, um, to just kind of do things you'd never get to do. I am Zoe's boss and I am, I run this um, tech company and that's as much as I can know about computers and I'm, I just, you know, try to um, fill in the blanks in my imagination because I know very little about Silicon Valley. Um, but I think we're linked in that we are rare women in this world and um, I personally, my character is going through kind of a rough time. but. I have just wanted in, as their relationship evolves, ultimately she's there to support Zoe. She's hard on her at times, but it's only because she knows how hard it can be in this environment. She wants her to do well. It's ever evolving, but basically the, the premise starts that Zoe hears um, people's true thoughts in song. So um, she might hear the so boy has a crush on her. She might hear that her boss is actually suffering more than she's let on, but um, she hears their truth. And um, it's outside of our awareness. Nobody knows that they're singing and dancing, only she sees that. She's hearing the truth of what they are thinking and, and, and feeling. And, and then she sort of uh, takes it upon herself to um, help them. Jane is incredible, and um, th they, I, I don't know that anyone knew exactly how lucky they were. I mean, when I was coming up in trying to be in the theater, they always talked about the need to be a triple threat, to sing, dance, and act, which kind of, unless you're performing um, in, in musical theater, you don't really have to have all those things to be a TV star. Um, but Jane happens to have all those things. She's an incredible dancer. She made me go to this Zumba class that she goes to. I could barely follow it. She um, is a really natural, beautiful singer, and she's beautiful, and she's a wonderful actor. And it feels to me like, you know, and you don't get many of these if you even get one. Honestly, the part that was meant for her, you know, that I can't imagine who else could do it so, so well. And um, she really shines. She's really incredible. It's just really embarrassing to try to be like, oh yeah, I'm a singer, when there are these ridiculous singers on this show and Skylar is one of them. I mean, he just, and it seems so effortless. That's what really makes me want, want to murder him because he just, he's like, oh, you mean this? <laughs> opera, opera, like it, and Alex Newell, the same. Michael Grant, the same. Um, John Stewart, beautiful voice. I mean, they're just incredible and they're all like 25 years old. <laughs> it's really astonishing. This show in Peter's character, in, in Mary's character, is is the what if, if, if you know, you could hear um, the truth of what someone w wanted to say to you. It's really beautiful, and the stuff with the family is so moving, obviously comes from a, you know, a really personal place. Um, but he's extended that to all the characters, you know, what if, what if you could hear what somebody's really thinking. I think anytime you have something that's truly inventive and original, it translates. And um, the aspect of these songs being popular songs is really fun. Um, the dancing's really fun, and you don't need to be American to <laughs> enjoy um, these this incredible choreography. So yeah, I can see it doing well in many different countries. 
this just felt like a real opportunity to be with my friend, to, to do something I hadn't gotten to do in a long time, and to be part of a show that I, I genuinely think is really special. It's really happy. It's like a really happy place to visit, you know, and, and, um, and, it, and it's really positive and it's about kind of how we express ourselves and love and family and, um, you know, I, I just find the, the, this is not a message per se, but I just find the world that, that is Zoe's playlist is, is very happy and, and, and uplifting. There's a great responsibility, you know, having such insight into the lives of others and a, a, a burden that can come with that, especially when it involves her own personal life. Um, but I don't think we've gotten yet to the, I don't think, I don't think all has been revealed just yet.